So in our last section, we have seen that how we can install field service applications which are model driven apps. If you can see here in the power app screen, this is the field service and this is field service mobile and this is resource scheduling. Actually field service module which is part of Microsoft Dynamics 365 customer engagement comes with the three apps. Okay. Now let us open this field service. Now once you open this field service, the model driven app which is a power apps and uh, the name is field service will open and uh, all the um, all the tables and entities which are part of this field service will be available here this is, this is the sitemap and uh, there are many areas we'll discuss one by one and this is the home page of field service app now if you want to switch one app to another app you can click on the application name and you can switch from field service to field service mobile or you can switch to resource scheduling actually in uh, dynamics 365 uh, the uh, field service consists of three applications one is field service another is field service mobile and the third one is resource scheduling field service is used to configure uh, work orders and different types of field service related entities and resource scheduling is used to schedule and you know uh, define some master data that are required for field service and field service mobile is used for site engineers or frontline workers we actually go to the uh, customer place to uh, to complete the work order or installation or any repair work that is required for the field service or work order right now concept if we uh, if you uh, if, if we talk about concept then i can tell you that field service is nothing but a application that actually used to uh, provide a service to the customer by visiting their place and doing some activity like installation or repair or something like let's say a case has been created to install some uh, option install some uh, machine to the customer place then what you have to do you have to create a case and create an you know a work order out of the case then you uh, schedule that work order so that an engineer will visit to the customer place to complete the work so this kind of scheduling and work order related fact related concepts are nothing but field service uh, model now in, in our last section we have seen the field service installation right now in this section we will also see how we can install uh, field service mobile because field service mobile installation requires uh, many configurations so the first section we have uh, configured we have installed this field service apps next field service mobile okay so how to do that the first thing is you have to go to this url can you see that it requires wood for solution and a wood for solution uh, field service mobile project for this configuration so i have already taken in bookmark if you see the first one wood for solution if i will edit you can see the url the url is resco.net word for wood for and download if you click this url let me click this url wood for solution now the url will uh, hit and it will download a managed solution right now you can save it in a managed solution right i have already downloaded this if you see here in the code i have stored in the download so this is the uh, wood for solution that has been downloaded you can see here this is the same now you have to download this in your local machine the next thing is you have to download this fs mobile project if you want to see the uh, url you can see aka.ms fs mobile hyphen project now if you click on this then it will download a dot wood for file that will be used for our project mobile service uh, field service project okay I have already downloaded you have to download it so this is the wood for file uh, which is the mo uh, field service mobile project file for wood for now once you have downloaded these two things you have done the first uh, first step the next step is you have to go to power apps this is my power app home screen you can navigate to this power apps by using mac.powerapps.com then choose your correct environment then you have to go to solutions as because the wood solution is a managed solution you have to click on import 
and choose the managed solution that you have downloaded i have already downloaded here this is the old food solution now click on open once you click on open it will identify this is a managed solution click on next so that it will identify other properties of the managed solution which is the part of this uh, managed solution now once you click on import it will take some time to import your solution right i have already imported so i am just cancelling the procedure now i will show you what i have imported this is the solution that has been imported last time i have already imported it so once you import the manager solution the name will be resco mobile crm woodford with part of this import operation it will create some options to open woodford solution using advanced settings so after this is installed or imported go to advanced settings this is advanced settings and you can navigate from power apps to advanced settings like using this advanced setting options right so once you go to advanced setting option you will see in the settings area there are some links or some uh, commands available to open woodport solution right now it is opening the advanced settings i will just click on this uh, arrow icon beside settings you will see this is the mobile crm applications links that are available for me now click on this woodford option it will open the option woodford and click on this woodford now once you click that the html5 web resource which is used to manage the woodford solution will open this is our second stage now in this screen we have to configure some projects okay i have already created some projects how you do that i will tell you first thing you have to click on import once you click on import you have to choose the woodford file that has been downloaded in our first step we have already imported the managed solution and next thing is we have to uh, import this woodford file into our uh, into our woodford uh, application right now once it is imported if you click on open it will ask you to provide some information like what is the type of user you can choose it is a standard user click on next here it will define the uh, app initially as because this app is already uh, created so it is displaying like that otherwise you can create new app you provide a name of the app and click on next once you click on next it will so let's say you can use test click on next now here in this stage you can provide a priority 10 and you can define the name of the mobile project as the same as woodford file that is downloaded right otherwise you can give your own name uh, own choice of name now in this screen you have to select all field service roles right so this is important all these roles should be selected for this environment because you want to enable mobile application for this uh, field service uh, users for all these roles now click on create as soon as you click create the project will be created for you like this right now once this project is created you can open this project and this is the mobile project field service mobile project and once it is installed you have to publish the mobile project that has been imported or created right now if you do not publish it will not work right now once it is published let us wait for the uh, project load once it is completely loading as because the screen is designed in html5 so html5 is a web resource that is behaving to configure this uh, field service mobile application now we have to wait now this is the screen which will give you details about the mobile project right so this is the project what things what options will be displayed in the mobile screen that will also display here now next thing is you have to click on publish <coughs> so once you publish this the project will be published next work is you have to derive a new project from this project this is the parent project now you can go back 
and click on derive option you will find there is a derive you can create a, uh, a child application from a parent one if you click on standard click on next here you have to choose which parent mobile application will be used to create a parent child uh, mobile project i have already created child project so like this right so this one i have created this time you can give 20 age priority and this time also you have to choose all field service uh, roles then click on create now it will create this type of another project for you with parent the initial one now do the same thing open this project and publish it okay once you open this it will you you, you see there is a button called as publish now you can publish all option here right so this is second step the third step is you have to go back to the parent and go to the plugin section or configuration section if you go here in the configuration in the left side you will find there is a option called as configuration so in the configuration so before configuration you have to do some things in the plugin can you see that there is an option called as plugin if you go back there is a plugin section click on plugins and in this in this plugins click on the delete delete option because in the delete operation we want to enable some work order related entities in the delete section why we do that because if any work order deleted from server then the same work order should be deleted or removed from mobile application so this configuration is required if you don't want to you know, remove the work orders from mobile application then you can skip skip this step but go to delete and use search for work orders right so i have already selected <coughs> already selected work order work order product work order service work order service task so all these options i have selected for work order and i have saved it now the point here is once this plugin is a uh, plugin con configuration is done i can go to again to the app project and open the app project and go to the configuration this configuration is give you some details about synchronization right if you search here there is an option called as auto sync let me search here auto sync now this auto sync will uh, this auto sync configuration will identify how frequently the server data will be synchronized to your mobile device because the mobile device is having the uh, field service mobile app right so for development purpose you can use on start otherwise normally it is used on start and change anything it uh, anything changes in the entities that are synced to the mobile device right now choose on start let's say now you can save the configuration right now you have done all your configuration that is part of woodford solution which is required for mobile devices field service mobile application always remember this version of this application right can you see that for every app project there is a version available here you cannot you should not use latest because this version depends on your mobile app device mobile application device for field service mobile let us see once it this configuration is done we will directly head back to uh, directly head back to the mobile app i'll just install the field service mobile app i'll go to windows store okay this is the microsoft store i can click here now field service mobile app is available in three different versions for ios for windows and for android i can search here field service mobile okay now this field service mobile is the application for windows and it works same as in three different operating systems I will tell you how it works in mobile in Windows mobile then you can uh, work on for other operating systems now this is the app I have already downloaded it if you have not downloaded it it will display get it as I have already get it so it is now displaying launch now I can click on launch 
or once it is downloaded i can just search here field service in the start now this is my field service mobile i can click on this now this is the mobile application that every site engineer or uh, any uh, frontline workers would have uh, in their mobile because whenever you create work order and uh, book the work order for that uh, field engineer they should see all the details here okay but field service mobile config before this field service mobile configuration you have to configure the resources first and you have to allow the field service mobile access to the resource right so i will come to this stage after configuring configuring some resources and i will configure some other facts so that the field engineer can work on this mobile application without any issue so we'll see you in next time